in a vertical distance and then some other than the hazard to the right. So we're asked to compute the volume using the end area method and the volume of end area with this model production. Okay. So, natin yun yung given, no? Katakaan. So, yung flat na 60 na, so, for station 4 plus 0, 0, sato center, natin 0, na rin yung portion, then ang atong vertical distance, which is 2.85. So, pataas since positive siya, 2.85. Then, sa atong last, natin yung horizontal distance na 3 meters, which is 1 half na siya sa ato road width. Kaya nga itong road width man to 6 meters, so 1 na pa na niya, 3. So, horizontal 3. Then, ang vertical distance niya is 3.5 of upward. Then, ang, for the slope state, napit tayo 4.70 ang horizontal niya, then ang vertical is 3.76. For left, ay right side naman, at ay Horizontal distance na 3 meters, then ang vertical is 3.12. Half of it is 3.12. And ang isa ka sa section say, 7.05, ang horizontal distance, ang vertical distance is 3.24. So, maka, after ka na, maka-generate ka ani nga illustration. So, at ito si John, i-divide into triangle. Since 5 level section man siya, pwede na po siya sin ani ang pata-divide ang triangle. So, natin triangle 1, then triangle 2, triangle 3, then triangle 4, then triangle 5, and 6. So, pa na lang natin ang area sa triangle, ay area of the triangle, then ato si John i-add. So, area sa station 4 plus 0, 0. So, for first triangle, natin yung base na 1.7. Ang 1.7, nakuha na to from 4.70 minus 3 equals to 1.7. Natin horizontal distance or base na 1.7. Then, ang vertical distance natin for triangle 1, which is 3.76 divided by 2. Plus, sa ating triangle 2 naman, na natin horizontal distance na 3 meters, and the vertical distance na to, kanil siya, is 3.5. Ito ba? Over 2. Plus, for triangle 3, natin base na 3 meters, and the height is 2.85 divided by 2. In triangle 4, 2.85, Divided by, I times 3 divided by 2. Then for triangle 5, base niya is 3 meters, is 1, 3 meters. Then height is 3.12 divided by 2. And for lastly, for triangle 6, ang base is 4.05, then height is 3.24. 3.24. And answer na is 27.997. Then for four station two. 4 plus 100, for the second station, same lang natin button. I-plot lang natin siya. Then, paon lang natin ang summation sa triangles for the cross-sectional area. On one side, I think, ang pwede na ito paon, pag-solve on na, paon na itong triangle 1, then area na sa trapezoid for triangle 2 and 3. So, it's naman tayo B1 and B2 and height. Same for trapezoid po sa for triangle 4 and 5 and area so area for triangle 6. Then you add na to ang area 1, then area sa trapezoid 1, then area sa trapezoid 2, then area sa triangle 2. Same procedure lang, then makakuha ka o cross-sectional area for second station is equals to 22.195. Then ang volume na to na makompute is for end area, summation of the two cross-sectional area, so 27.997 plus 22.519 divided by 2, then length niya, which is equals to 100. So, for station 4 plus 4,100 minus 4,000, so 100 ang atong horizontal distance along the profile. So, volume na to is 2,525.256.62. Then, volume using the this my bell correction. So, ang atong buhaton, since naman tayo.
Purpose mo ibaw correction. Yes. Naman sa given niya, cost of chance for first station and second station, ato lang po ang shock average. For this one, 4.7, 4.7 plus 5.12 na divided by 2. Mo na makakuha ka o atong transaction na 4.975. Then sa vertical distance naman, makakuha lang ka o 3.76. Kaya ka ni siya, 3.76 plus 1.80. Masa ka magkaroon? 1.80 divided by 2. Kaya makakuha na ka ano yung vertical distance, which is equal to 2.78. Same with other, so for center, natin 2.85 plus 3.25, then ato i-divide it to 2, ay makuha na itong average, so ang answer na is 2.05. Same with other, then paano na po nato ang area for cross-section sa mid-section, sa true, ato na po i-divide into triangle sa atong cross-section. So same procedure, makakuha sa Area for midsection equals to 25.3085 square meters. Then volume, volume na to, using the Schmeidel method, so that is equal to 25, 2,595.117 cubic meters. Okay. Then for the second and other problem na to, next ta, I do have any question. Yeah, I'm going to try to use me. So, wala. Proceed ka ha for second problem. So, given the cross-section load of earthwork, the, the width of the road is 5 meters. The side slope is 2 is to 1. So, not a cross-section load for three level section. We're asked to find the value of x or the vertical distance at the slope state on the right side. Then, compute the cross-sectional area at the first station. Then, cross-sectional area at the site second station which is station 5 plus 100 then find the volume using the end area method and using the Schmeidel formula then volume also using the end area with the Schmeidel correction and lastly is the compute the volume using end area with curvature correction if the road is 5 degrees which turns to, to the left with a given cross section so again at the cross section notes for two stations so at the lang it plot so for station for station 4 plus 0, 0, natay center na 0. Then, ang vertical distance nato is 1 meters. So, positive 1 meters. So, positive siya. Pa-upward. Then, for the left side, natay horizontal distance na 4.10 meters. Then, ang vertical distance nato is 0 0.8. So, morning um, also, ang ato din road width is 5 meters. So, natay 2.5. Then, ang um, end point sa itong base road on the left side, ang um, ato si John, i-connect siya sa intersection sa itong slope state. Then, for the right side, natay horizontal distance na 4.90. Then, ang um, vertical distance nato is unknown, which is X. Then, for the second station, atong center is 0, then vertical distance and depth na to is 1.2. Then, for the left side, natin horizontal distance na 4.50, then ang vertical distance na to is 1.0 meters. Ang right side naman na to is 5.10, ang vertical distance from, ay horizontal distance from the center to the slope state na to, which is 5.10 meters. Then, ang vertical distance is 1.3 meters. Okay? So, first, we're, we'll ask, we're asked to find the value of x. Since given man ang atong slope state na natay horizontal distance on the right side na 4.90 meters. Then, given man ang atong road, road width, which is 5 meters, then ang one-half road width is 2.5. So, 4.9 minus 2.5 mon yung atong horizontal distance or ang atong y. So, y is equals to 4.9 minus 2.5 plus y is equals to 2.5. Okay. 
Then, given na itong slope state na 2 is to 1, so, mag-ratio and proportion lang ta, 2 is to 1, equal, ang 2 na ito is horizontal distance man, so, horizontal distance at ito po, ano niya rin. So, y. Then, ang vertical distance na ito is x. Then, it tends to post lang, so, ang x na ito is 1.2 meters. Okay. Next is the area, cross-sectional area sa ato first station. So, ato cross-sectional area for first station, kani siya, ato lang siya i-divide into triangles. So, natay triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3, triangle 4. Then, ato ikwaon ang area for each triangle, then ato i-add. So, for first triangle, not a base na 2.5 so ang atong height is 0 0.8 meters divided by 2 money atong area for the first triangle. For the second triangle which is base times height is equal to happen, that is 4.10 times 1 divided by 2 then for triangle 3 not a 1 meters times 4.9 ang horizontal distance nato from this point to this point 4.9 divided by 2. Then lastly, for fourth triangle, 2.5 is the base times height na x. That is 1.2. And ito na complete ganyan na. So, ato lang siya i-add. 2.5 times 0 0.8. For the first triangle, area for the first triangle, then area for the second triangle, plus area for third triangle, and lastly, area sa fourth triangle. So, ang area for station 4 plus 0 na to is 7. 7 meters. Okay. The next is area, cross-sectional area for the second station. So, same mga kabuhaton at talaga kung siya divide into triangles. So, natay triangle 1, triangle 2, triangle 3, and triangle 4. So, para sa ang area for the first triangle, that is 2.5 times 1. Plus, area sa trick Second triangle na 4.50 times idea is 1.2. And the third triangle na 5.10 times 1.2. And lastly, for fourth triangle, 2.5 times 1.3 and divided by 2. So, the area for the second triangle is 8.635 square meters. Okay. Then, letter D, volume, using end area. So, na-complete namin na ang area for the first station, which is 7 meters. Then, area for the second station, which is 8.635 meter, square meters. Then, ang length na to, or the horizontal distance along sa profile, at lang is nag-drop ang distance ah, between two stations. So, 5 plus 1, 0, 0 minus 4 plus 0, 0, 0 that is 1,100 meters. So, ang volume na to using end area method is 8.599.25 cubic meters. Okay. Then, for letter D, that is area volume using prismoidal formula. So, so for, equation na to for prismoidal formula, that is L over 6 times A1 plus 4 AM plus A2. So, compute naman na ang A1, cross-sectional area sa first station, and cross-sectional area for the second station. So, ang atin na pa on is the cross-sectional of the means section. Para makuha na to ang cross-section sa mid-section at lang siyang average between two, sta two stations. So, can siya for center 0 plus 0 divided by 2 equal 0. Then, for vertical distance on the center, 1 meters plus 1.2 meters divided by 2, that is 1.2 1.1 meters. Then, for the left side, that is 4.10 near horizontal distance for first station plus horizontal distance of the second station which is equals to 4.50 so 4.10 plus 4.50 divided by 2 that is 4.3 then for the vertical distance 0 
plus 1.00 divided by 2, that is 0 0.9 meters. And then the right side, natay 4.9 plus 5.10 divided by 2, that is 5.00. And for the vertical distance, 1.2 plus 1.30 divided by 2, that is equal to 1.25. Then, then I'm going to take a section root for the mid section of the long shot is not. So, at the center is 0, then our vertical distance is 1.1 meters. 1. So, our horizontal distance nato is 4.3 meters. Then, our vertical distance on the left side is 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Then, for the Right side, the horizontal distance from the center to the right side of the slope state that is equal to 5 meters. Then vertical distance nato is 1.25. Also, ang atong width sa road is same lang hapon. 5 meters, so ang from the center to the left side, 2.5, then 2.5 sa the right side. So, ato ba siyang divide into 4 triangles ng hapon ng atong Perception on the second station. So, areas at the mid section at I for triangle 1 at I 2.5 times 0 0.9 divided by 2. For triangle 2, at I 4.3, 4.3, then a vertical distance is 1.1 meters divided by 2. For triangle 3, naman, 1.1 na atong height, the narrow base is 5 meters. Then for triangle 4, natay 2.5 times 1.25. So area for our mid section is 7.8025 square meters. So na natay area sa atong mid section, sa atong na lang siya ay substitute sa formula. So ang atong volume, after, length na to, is 1,100 since ang length ani is the horizontal distance at your station. So 1,100 divided by 6, then area sa to cross-sectional cross -sectional area of the first station, 7 plus 4 times ang atong na compute na area sa mid section, that is 7.8025, then plus area for the second station, that is 8.635. So ang volume na to, using this model formula, is 8.88.25 cubic meters. Okay? Then, sa letter A, ang di pangutana for letter E is volume corrected, uh, volume of end area with prismoidal correction. Ang so, atong formula for volume of prismoidal correction is L over 12 times C1 minus C2 times D1 minus D2. So, ang atong C1 is the vertical distance sa ato ang first station. So, ang atong vertical distance for the first station, so, ito na siya. Ano, vertical distance sa center. So, 1 meter. Then, ang D1 na to is the horizontal distance between two slope states. So, natay 4.10 from the center to the left side. Then, ang natay 4.9 horizontal distance from the center to the right side. So, ato ni siya i-add mo ng atong D1. 4.10 plus 4.9, that is 9 meters. So, 9 meters ang atong D1. Then, for D2, natay 1.2, na vertical distance at the center. For C1, then D2 is 4.50 meters plus 5.10, that is 9.16 meters. Okay. So, ang atong C1, 1 meter, then ang D1, 9 meters. So, C2 is 1.2 meters, and D2 is 9.6 meters. So, ato lang siya substitute sa formula. So, then we'll compute the, we can get the volume of this my, this my So, 1,100 distance, horizontal distance between two stations over 12 times C1, that is 1 meters, minus C2, na 1.2 meters times D1 now 9 meters minus D2 which is 9.6 meters. So, ang volume na to using the prismoidal connection is 11 meters. Ay, 11 cubic meters. So, to correct, since ang corrected volume ang di-add, 
One yung second end area, which is a complete na ganina, minus volume sa pismoidal collection. So, volumes and area is 8599.25 minus 11 meters. So, remember na ang corrected volume is a pismoidal correction, volumes and area minus which are always minus volumes of pismoidal correction. So, ang um, Corrected volume na to is 8588.25 cubic meters. Also, take note na to kung ang atong corrected volume using sa pismoidal correction should be equal to the corrected volume using sa pismoidal formula. So, kung nakuha na ninyo yung pismoidal formula, pwede na ang katawag yung mga computer. Automatic na nga, equal lang siya. So, the value of this model is equal to 8588.25 is equal to the corrected volume sa ato ang um, with this model collection, 8888.25. Lastly, may siya, since mga gamay rin nakakuha na yung letter F. Question for letter F is, um, F is to compute the volume. Compute the volume using an area with curvature correction if the road is 5 degrees which turns to the left. Left, no? With a given cross section. So, naman tayo given cross section for two stations, then for may, na ko na curve between these two, two stations. Na tayo curvature. So, with that, magkuha ka o oh, curvature correction. So, the atom formula for curvature correction is this one, L over 2R, radius of the curve, plus AS1, E1, plus AS2, E2. Okay, so, na naman ta, nakaibaw na ta sa ato L, or distance between two stations, ang AS1 na po, E1, AS2, and E2 ang unknown. So, man ta, hindi ka yung sa. So, for AS1, again, for AS1 is for the first stations siya. So, cross-sectional area na to sa first station, which is a complete na natin na din na, minus sa this one, this gray portion. Sa so, atong gray, por gray, gray portion, natay in this section, natay triangle 1 na yun, triangle 2, then times 2 lang siya. So, naman tayo, naman tayo. Paunang na to ang area for triangle A and ay, for triangle 1 and 2. Then, if makuha na na to, makumpute at siya i-add, then times 2. Then, ito yung remaining at ito value from the cross-sectional area na nakumpute na mo ng AS1. Then, same for AS2. AS1 na tayo, makuha na to 0 0.9 meters. Then for AS2, 1 third sa ato ang horizontal distance. Then ang atong horizontal distance is this horizontal distance between slope state or ang atong B1 sa kanyang value. Ang atong B1, that is 9 meters. So 1 third sa 9 is equal to 3, me 3 meters atong B1. Then for AS2, cross-sectional area na po sa Second station, yun na computer na ito ganina, that is equals to 8.635 minus sa triangle 1 and 2 times 2. At triangle 1, A1 plus triangle 2, then in multiply na ito siya, i-double na ito siya. So, ang atong AS2, that is 8.635 minus 7.9. So, kanina value ay 7.9 meters. So, AS2 is 0 0.735. Then, for E2, one third sa atong B2. So, ang B2 na ito ganina is this one, 0, ay 9.6 meters. So, 9.6 meters divided by 3, that is 3.2. Then, for the R, which is the Atong radius, 1145.916 divided by sa atong degree of curve. Atong degree of curve, the given man, that is 5 degrees. So, atong radius is 229.25. So, substitute lang nato ang formula. That will give us 
124 cubic meters. So, ang volume na ito, sa atong volume, sa ito ang end area, that is 8599.25, na nakumpute ganun na for letter C or letter D. Plus, always, it plus na ito ang correction. Temperature correction, that is 12.124. So, ang atong volume, so, the temperature correction is 8611.374 cubic meters. Okay. Any question? 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 Wala ka sa sa assessment exam? Atong, instead of laboratory exercise, ako ihatag. Paano lang siya? Problem set. I'll give it this afternoon na ang problem set. Then, and deadline for the problem set is Monday. Then, ang for modular exam na supposedly ugma ang modular exam, ako siya i-move to, to Wednesday. So, maka-answer mo sa problem set. Then, maka-review mo sa problem set for Tuesday. Then, Wednesday, modular exam. Okay? Wednesday, that is June 8th. Okay, let's proceed na sa lesson 3.3. That is borrow with method. So, under Japan siya for the earthwork. So, for the learning outcome is to solve the volume using borrow with method. So, ang borrow with, I'll borrow so, natay existing ground surface, again, in the video, then natay proposed elevation. So, sa so natay project, natay, sa ang atong ipat na portion, nga rin, na area, kating mga tagas ang ele elevation, then the proposed elevation sa ato ang project, ato siyang ikat, then ato siyang i-inbank sa area with low, low elevation. So, ang kanina nga yellow nga portion na nakat na to, at ito si John, ito si, si Puno nga rin sa field na yellow yapon nga portion. Pero, sa ato ang project, na it is na kuwang siya. Sa ang ating dikat, kuwang sa ipil. In that case, mag-borrow ta. Mag-borrow, meaning mag-uwang ta o portion sa earth surface. mag ta ta o sand or, or unformed rock sa other area, other location. Then, ang sa kanina naman, ang atong gi-inbank na kung atong gi-excavate sa areas na kung ato siya i-transfer is mas bako ang cost, operational cost, the construction cost, kung kanang na area, ato na siya, instead na atong i-transfer siya na ito sa area with low elevation, ato na lang siya i-waste. So, ang baro, ang kato mga nahuwang ta sa Again, ng huwang taog sand or the informed rock sa other location. Other location. So, by definition, ang borrow pit or sandbox is a term used in the construction of civil engineering. It describes an area where materials has been dug for the use at another location. So, example, ani, kinahanglan ta o volume ani na volume of artwork for this area para sa ato ang construction project. So, ang atong buhat doon is magpuhat ka o na-excavate ka o na nanonform rock sa other location. So, for this one naman, ang atong di, for some cases, ang atong di-excavate ka, muna ganito na landfill or waste disposal sa municipality. Okay. Then, ang barotic method is the method used in barotic leveling to compute the volume of earth, gravel, or other materials excavated or filled in the construction project. So, sa barotic, since magpuha ng tao, 
ma-excavate ka o saan na inform mo ako or portion sa ating earth surface at isa si John i-compute ng pila atong i-excavate. So, ang nakadana is barotip na hub. So, the volume is determined based on the predetermined grid. So, in computing sa ato ang volume sa barotip, at isa si John i-grid or mamtayos ka niya. So, and also, with an elevation, are then measured at the corner of the grid, which are given, uh, given tiles. So, ang atong ilad readings ani ang mga corner corners ato ang grid. So, for grid 1 na tayo, magkuha ta grid readings for 4 corners ato ang square or for ato ang rectangle. Then, ang atong makuha na is our elevation or the height or the vertical distance. Then, we cut sa atong geometry. So, in computing the irregular prism, that is, areas ato ang base, then average sa height of the corners. So, area ani, kung rectangle ni siya, length times width, over 4 times height, h1 plus h2 plus h3 plus h4, height sa mga corners. Okay? So, sa barrel fit method, same lang ang atong buhaton. So, kung nang may kaling red portion, mo nang ato ang resisting ground. Then, mag-excavate ka. Mag-excavate. So, in barrel fit, naman tayo give pattern. So, in this case, natay for five sections. Natay grid 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, para makuha ang atong volume sa atong barrel fit, atong kao ng volume for grid 1 or section 1, then plus volume sa section 2, then volume sa section 3, section 4, and section 5. Summation ang nila, mo ng atong volume or barrel fit. Okay? So, for this one, for section 1, natay area 1, area 1 divided by 4 times summation sa ato ang height. For this one, ang atong height 1, height 2, height 3, and height 4. Ngayon um, siya for section 1 or grade 1. Then, for section 2, natay area, area sa ato ang base, over 4 times summation sa height of the corner. So, ang height sa corner sa atong section 2 is H2, H4, H8, and H5. Same with other section or other grid. So, ang atong area sa base, then divided by 4 times summation sa height of the corner. So, top view, may nami siya. Atong top view na tayo, section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, ang atong height, Money H1, money ang height for the corner 1 sa each section. Or for the section 1. So H1, then then H2, H7, then H9. And same with this one. Ang H represents the height or the elevation sa ato ang corner. Okay. Other way to solve sa ato ang barrow fit is this one, this formula. A4, I A or the areas sa atong base for one section. So, kung natay nani ang atong, assuming na square ni siya, natay x, ang atong length is x in the width, so ang area ani is x squared over 4, times summation sa h1. Ang h1, heights use ones, meaning ka sa na siya gigamit. So, kani siya, h1, yun siya. Then, plus 2 summation of, Time summation of H2. H2 use a uh, height used two times. So, kani siya H2 since kani na height sa duha si Jack pag 3 the gamit or duha pa section. So, section 1 and section 2. Then, same with this one. H2 ko di siya since sa duha ra siya nga section. Plus 3 times summation of H3. So, ang H3 na ka is height used three times. So, example lang ni is this one. H3, since nagamit si Jaani na section, then nagamit ko siya na section, kaya nga corners, and also for this section. So, patulo siya, patulo siya pag-grid na gamit na height. So, 3 H3. Then, for heights, use 4 times, 4 times summation H4. So, kami siya, example. So, sa 4, four sections siya, or 4 grids siya na gamit. So, H4, 6 times summation sa H4. 
Okay. So, proceed it ah, sa sample problem. So, the sample problem, after surveying a barrel pit, the surveyor produced the following 20 meters by 20 meter barrel pit grid as shown below. So, ano nga itong barrel pit grid? The following data are the elevations of the corner surface at the corner surface at the corner of the square section of the lot. So, find the volume of earth earth excavated if the ground surface is to be leveled to 10 meters. So, natin yung ane, natin given na barrel pit grid. So, ang ato ko ng ground surface is to be leveled to elevation 10 meters. So, ang pwede ko natin i-excavate ang elevations na above 10 meters. So, from 12.4 minus 10, 2.4 meters ba ang pwede na to excavate until ma-reach na to ang 10 meters. Then for 13.5 minus 10, 3.0 meters lang ang vertical distance or ang depth na pwede na to excavate. Then 12.8 minus 10, that is 2.8. Then 13.3 minus 10, 3.3, same with other elevation or the height na to. I minus na to siya ang minus of 10. Okay? So, muna ni, after mag minus of 10, muna na itong ma-generate na barrel pit. So, we're asked to compute the volume of earthwork. So, ang kumpaon, ang volume per grade, then nato lang si John A.I. So, sa volume sa per grade, you have this formula. Area sa land times width over 4 times summation sa height sa corner. And in four corners. Then for triangle naman, area sa triangle is that is base times side over 2 divided by 4 times height sa corner. I divided by 3 since 3 naman sa height times height sa 3 corners. Then after na ito compute ang volume per grid, then ato lang siya i-add to get the total volume. Okay? So for grid 1, natay area na 20 meters by 20 meters. Given many siya na grid size sa so, mga problem. This one, 20 meters by 20 meter by grid. So, 20 times 20, since square man siya, so, natin 400 area. Area sa base na to for grid, do, grid 1 is 400 square meters. Then, average height na to sa 4 corners, so, natin 2.4 plus 3.5 Plus 3.3 plus 2.8 divided by 4, that is 3 meters. Then, another area times ang atong average height, magpapuha na ka o volume. So, atong volume for 3 is 1,200 square cubic meters. Okay? Then, for grid 2, natay since triangle man siya, base times height, ang atong base is 20 meters, so atong height is 20 meters divided by 2. So, atong cross-section, uh, atong area for, base area for grid 2 is 200 square meters. Then, ang average height na to, since tuloro man siya pa-corners, i-divide lang natin siya 3. So, natin 3.5 plus 3.3 plus 2.1 divided by 3, that is 2.67. So, ang atong volume for section 2 is 593.333. Okay? Then, for section 3, same na si Jha sa section 1. So, sectional area, or area of the base, that is 20 meters by 20 meters, that is 400 square meters. Then, flat times average height, at ang four corners, that is 2.8 plus 3.2 plus 3.2 plus 3.1 divided by 4, that is 3.10 meters. So, ato na siya yung multiply, 400 times 3.10 meters, that is 1,240 cubic meters. Same with other grids. So, for grid 4, grid 5, and grid 6. Ang grid 6 na to, triangle na to siya. Then grid 7. Then after na ito makumpit ang volume for sa kanan na ito mag grids and sa itong sections, ato lang si John E.I. Summation sa 
volume 1, volume 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, makakuha sa total volume sa ato ang borrow sheet that is equals to 6,276.666 cubic meters. Okay? Any question? Wala? Okay, proceed to sa second problem. So, for the second problem, we're asked to determine the volume of the barrel kit. In a line, a barrel kit is 75 times 135 meters. Before and after excavation, levels are none and offsets are measured from stations and one of the 135 sides. A volumes are shown in the table below. So, not a station, which is station 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 30, 0 plus 50, 0 plus 35, 100, 115, and 135. And also, not a offset, for offset, no? 0, 25, 50, and 75. So, not in the two minus so, um, height, height or elevation, so corners, not so that we see for corners. Uh, taking 0, 0 and offset 0, that is height not a 0. So, after Anna, not a given any uh, table. Ah, oh, ma. So, maka generate ka ano yung elevation or set. Please slip. Itong station 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 30, 75, 100, 115, and 135. That is for our number. Then, so, ato ang offset na tayo 0, 25, sub 50, and 75. Then, ang ato ko ng height sa 0, offset 0, station 0, plus 0, 0, and offset 0, is 0, this one. Then, ang ato ng height for station 30, and offset 0, na tayo 1.5. Then, for station 0, 0, at offset 25, that is 1.2 ang ato ang height or elevation. Then for station 30, at offset 25, na tay 2.9 na elevation. After ana, atong dito, makagenerate na ane. Okay? So, after na ito makagenerate, mas mabisa lang si na ito, to compute ang ato ang biotip. So, for our area, Distance between two stations. So, kani siya, atong distance between two stations, that is 30 minus 0, so natay 30. So, section 1, ang ato ang length. Ang ato width is the distance between two offsets. So, this one is 25 meters. So, natay 30, distance between two stations, times 25, na distance between two offsets. Equals, 750 square meters, that is length times width since rectangle ang atong section 1. Time summation sa atong height sa corners, mag-even man this one, these four values, that is 0 plus 1.5 plus 1.2 plus 2.9 divided by 4, that is 1.4 meters. So atong lang siya yung multiply ang atong area and average height, 750 times 1.42, that gives us a value of 1050 cubic meters. Then same sa section 2, we have the distance between two offsets with the area of the base, distance between two stations that is 30 meters, 30, this one, 30, station 30 to station 0 plus 0, times horizontal distance sa ato ang um, between two offsets, that is 50 minus 25, that is 25. So 30 minus Times 25 is 750 meters. Times average height. Sa ato ang um, height sa corners for section 2 na tay 2.5, 1.2, 2.9, and 3.7. So, kanil siya. So, pat. So, 1.2 plus 2.9 plus 2.5 plus 3.7 divided by 4 is 2.575 meters. So, multiply lang nato siya. So, kung generate ka ang volume na 1931.25 cubic meters. Okay, same with other section. So, for section 4, ang ato ang distance between two stations is station 6, 0 plus 50, minus 0, point, minus 0 plus 30. 
for Nakai, 20 meters ang ato ang distance between two stations. Ang atong offset is saving na 25. So, nakatay 20 times 25 equals 500 ang ato ang base area for section 4. Times average height na to, then multiply na ang area times average height, that is equal to 1875 cubic meters. Okay, then same sa section 4 and the rest sa ato section. Then after nito ba complete ang volume for sa atong sections, i-sum lang na to, i-add lang na to to generate ang ato ang, I can get or to determine sa ato ang total volume sa ato ang variety. And for this one, ang ato total volume, 1,050 plus 190, 1,025 plus 190, 2, 50 and so on and so forth that it equals to 55,438 cubic meters. Okay, any question? Any question? Well, uh, proceed to the lesson 3.4. So, for lesson 3.4, this is earthwork distribution analysis. So, for learning outcome, analyze earthwork distribution. So, to analyze earthwork distribution, I'm generating that of mass diagram. So, mass diagram is a graphical representation of a cumulative amount of earthwork moved along the center line and the distance over which the earth and the chaos are to be plus So, sa so, mass diagram na to, natay, natay, Horizontal is the stations na to, then ang atong vertical is the volume. So, for mass diagram, if designers try to optimally balance cut and volume, cut and fill volumes for economical reason. Para makinangla na to, ang ato ang mass diagram para ma-determine kung pila ang ato kinahangla ng operational cost, labor cost, and so para mas ma- optimize or ma, ma efficient na itong atong cut and volume sa atong project. Then mass diagram is excellent. Then excellent na ito determining the ways or borrow volumes and then be ad adapted to show all consideration. Then for the definition of term, na define naman ni Galina for the previous lesson, ang borrow the estimated materials obtained from borrow kit located beyond the limits of the road. So nakuha naman ni Galina noon, nakuha naman so, ang baro, atong mahuwa, atong, ang atong i-feel ang iya is from other location. Dili ang atong na-excavate along sa atong ang project. In ways, are those materials excavated thrown away which is no longer necessary to wait for investment. So, ang ways naman, ang atong na-excavate but atong na siyang ilabay since dili siya ipananikal na may gamitin para sa ato ang area si low elevation. Then Paul is a product of the volume of the earth excavated and the distance to the earth of the embankment. Then three hole distance is a fixed distance within which the hauling of materials is not paid but is assumed to be already included in the cost of operation. So on three hole na to, same ane, kaming this portion, magkat ka ane na area. Taas ang atong elevation, then our proposed project, magkataan na, then natin sa dyang e-field and the nearest areas with low elevation. So, ang horizontal distance ani is the three-hole distance. This one, three-hole distance. Then, length of overhaul is the distance between the center of gravity of mass of excavation beyond the three-hole mass and the center of gravity of the resulting investment minus the three-hole distance. So, and overhaul is the product of the volume and the excess of the three whole mass and the length of overhaul in which the payment is required. So, sa atong ganina, ang three whole, libre na siya, atin na siya sa atong cost. Ang overhaul, natin additional payment for so this one. Ang three overhaul, natin di excavate and this portion, mga natin di inbang, mo na ang three whole. So, areas na i-excavate na ito, may na ito i-transfer 
to areas with low elevation, may natin bank na to sa areas with low elevation. Pero, na si Jai, operational cost na additional mo na ang overhaul. So, this one. So, overhaul is the volume times the length of the overhaul. So, ang atong length of overhaul so from this point to this point. The limit of the canonical hall is the maximum limit of hall distance. Beyond the limit, beyond the limit of the canonical hall, it is not economical to use the material obtained from cuts. Mona atong ang rubay na ato si Jang Ewe. It is more economical to waste the material and to take the materials from bio pit than the hall than to haul it. So, not a equation for limit of economical hall is the cost of borrow times over cost at to ang hall times C, which is constant, 20, 20 meters plus free hall distance. So, free hall distance. Yeah. So, limit of economical hall, mo na atong horizontal distance from sa ato ang borrow to waste or ways to borrow, horizontal distance to stop. Okay. Shrinking and swelling is well known as one cubic meter of excavation and the amount which will not occupy exactly one cubic meter of space in the, in the field. So adjusting is required. It is done by using the shrinkage as well as after. So, kanyang siya ang portion na hay na kayo excavate. Excavate ang array o volume na ito. Ang atong volume is one cubic meter. So, we invest na to Anna sa areas na low elevation na kaman ay shrinking mo, shrink pa or masakal pang atong sand or rock then nata ay shrinkage factor. So, kung natin wala si Bikipi na invest, possible na nag- ni- one cubic meter na na-excavate, possible na nga kung na-invest it's less than one cubic meter. The great thing was our uh, proposed national law shows the following data of our first. So, now, given a complete more distance, cost of borrow, that is 5 cubic meters, cost of haul, uh, 25 centavos per meter station, stationing of one limit of free haul, and also the stationing of one limit of canonical haul. Assuring the ground surveys for uniform slope. Um, has a uniform slope for from cut to field. So, not a given three station, man and atom cross sectional area for station two plus four four zero, then in station four, two plus seven four zero, man of balancing point, then for station three plus four zero, not a field, not three point negative. So, we're asked to compute the length of economical hall, compute the volume hall, and to compute the bar barrel and the width. So, not a given any no, ng mga values. So, ato si Jang, a plus. So, first, magkaan ka o distance ato ang profile. So, for this point na tayo, first station na to is 4 plus 4 for 0. So, the vertical uh, cross-sectional area na to, since cut na siya, pa-upward, so, 51 square meters. Next, for second station na tayo, second station is 2 plus 7 and report 40. May atong balancing point. Or, wala tayo i-cut any na portion or wala tayo i-fill. Then for the last station, which is station 3 plus 40, 3 plus 40, na tayo i-fill na 69 square meters. So, kay i-fill nun siya, so, meaning, ubos ang ato ang uh, existing elevation. So, downward, 69 square meters. Then, ato lang siya i-connect mo ni ang ato ang existing elevation from first station up to the third station. Okay? For this station, station 2 plus 740, horizontal distance na to sa station 2 and station 3 is 300 meters. So, 3,040 minus 2, 740 is 300 meters. Then, Given ang ato ang stationing of one unit of three hall, that is 2 plus 7, 63.12. So, na si Jang Ari, okay. station 2, 2 plus 7, 63.12. Then, ato pa ang 
For our, for the cross-sectional area, anong na station at ilang sigyang ilet each two. Then, makuha na itong horizontal distance between these two stations at ilang minus this station minus for this station, that is 23.12. 2 plus 7, 6, 3, 0.12 minus 2 plus 7, 4, 3, 23.12 meters. Then, next is the stationing of limit, one limit of economical hall, which is applicated as station 2 plus 9, 48.03. So, for our cross-sectional area, so for this station, at ilang si John Gillet to H1. So, to determine, the horizontal distance between this station at the radius of the sun in mass. Subtract na to, 29848.03 minus 2740, that is 208.03. Okay? So, nakuha na na to ang horizontal distance between this two station by subtracting 280 minus 23.12. So, nasa 1983.91. Then, ang kanisyad, the distance, 300 minus 208.03, that is equal to 91.77. Okay. For the left side naman, ang horizontal distance na ito, from station 2, 7.14 minus 2 plus 4.40, that is 300 meters. Then, ang ato ang Horizontal distance for one minute of three hole, which is two, two plus seven six three, seven six three, then minus two plus seven four three. At this point, it has to one. Then for fractional area, na to let to each four. Then for the limit of economical hall, the x lang na to ang yung horizontal distance. From balancing point or from station two plus seven point three, then the cross sectional area is let go H three. And to determine the horizontal distance, I need three hundred minus x. So ang kanisya mo ni ang ato ang overhaul. Then this one mo ni atong free hall area. So ang ato mo x x kabit ani ato na sa jump and bank on this area. So, nang atong na-excavate niya rin a portion, ato i-embank or i-fill na rin na portion. So, ang volume na atong na-excavate ani is the same volume sa atong i-embank na rin. So, nang mo niya ang atong overhaul, kanina, area. Then, ang atong waste, meaning, ang atong na-excavate niya rin, ato lang siyang i-labay. Then, ang for this one, atong barrow, hati ka sa barrow case na atong makuha. May atong issue in this area. So, first problem is to complete the limit of economical hall. So, limit of economical hall, cost of barrow over cost of hall times C, which is constant at 20 meters plus free hall distance. So, ang cost of barrow, given the problem na 5 per cubic meter. Divided by cost of hall na 0.25 meters. Times C na to NP that is constant plus free hall distance na given sa problem na 50 meters. Meaning, from this point, nari sa atong H4 na horizontal station to H1 na station mo na atong free hall distance. 50 meters na siya. So, natay 5 per cubic meters times 20 over 0.25 per meter station plus 50 meters na free hall distance. So, limit of economical hall na to is 450 meters. Next is to compute the overhaul volume. So, ato yung compute ang volume na to ano eh. So, ato ang x, kanina ba? Value. Natay na compute sa atong limit of economical hall na 450 meters. 450 meters meaning from this station na rin sa H3 up to H1. Muna ang atong limit of economical hall. So, 450 minus given na rin 208. So, atong F is equals to 241.97. Then, for our Y, Given na nga ito ang free hall distance na 50 meters minus 
So, half of y is 26.88 meters. Then, sa g na to, 241.97 minus 26.88 na complete na ka sa upper g. That is equals to 215.09. Then, for this one, 300 minus 241.97 that is 58.3. So, to compute ang atong each one, na-take ka niya, na-triangle, ratio and proportion lang ka. So, each one, horizontal distance na to is 208.03 equals to sa atong bigger triangle, the atong transactional area is 69 over horizontal distance na 300. So, ratio and proportion, Happy birthday! So, H1 is 5.85. Okay. Then, for H2, same na ito buha ito, and proportion lang sa smaller triangle na H2 over horizontal distance na 23.12. Equals, uh, equals to bigger triangle na ito na 69 over horizontal distance na 300. So, H2 so, H2 is 5.32 meters. Then, for H3 na to, kanina ko pa ang nagkaroon. H3 over horizontal distance na 241.97 equal sa fractional area at sa station 2 plus 440 na 51 over horizontal distance na 300. So, H3 is 41.37. Then lastly, for H4, H4 over horizontal distance at 26.88 equals a bigger triangle na 51 over 300 meters. So H4 is 4.57 kilometers. Okay? Since kanina man akong paon na volume, ang atong, we're asked to compute the overall volume na mo kay trapezoid. So, Ang formula sa trapezoid, base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times height. So, for this case, H3 plus H4 over 2 times horizontal distance na 215.09. So, substitute lang na sa ato na compute na H3, 41.13 plus 4.57 divided by 2. Times horizontal distance, ang overall volume na ito is 4,915 cubic meters. Okay? So, to compute, I check kung correct bang atong computed volume, pwede ni na ito ganito. I compute na ito ang volume I need, which is H1 plus H2 divided by 2 times horizontal distance na ito na 184.91. That should give us a value of 9. 4,915 cubic meters. Next is to compute the volume of borrow. Compute the volume of borrow. This one. Ang atong borrow na atay trapezoid lang di hapon. So ang atong trapezoid H1 which is na compute na natin ganina plus H2 or plus 69 over 2 times horizontal distance. So, substitute lang na ito. Atong na-compute na value for H1 which is equal to 47.85 plus transactional area sa third station plus 69 divided by 2 times horizontal distance na 41.97. So, volume sa tobaro is 4,373.35 kilometers. Lastly, volume sa waste. So, trapezoid lang di hapon. So, natay H3 plus 51 over 2 times horizontal distance na 58.03. So, ang atang H3 na compute ka nyo na, that is 51, uh, 51 plus 41.13 divided by 2 times horizontal distance na 58.03. So, volume of waste is 2,673.53 kilometers. Okay? Any question? Any question? Okay, wala na. That's it, Ms. Gerota. For all about earthworks sa atong module 3.
Okay. I-upload mo doon 3.4 mo. Ah, uh, na-upload naman siguro ang 3.3 and 3.4. Then ang problem set ako i-upload later. Then deadline is on Monday. June 6, then June 8 ang modular exam. Okay. If you have a question, you can leave na para sa 9 to 10 na class. Then for 10 to 11, you can okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.